Okay, previous example only used strings. I just want to show you what you would do if you had, you know, multiple data types. So I'm going to have a file here called data.txt. So I'm just going to add that file. And in it, I'm going to have a name and an age. Uh, Okay, and you can see here I have a name, which is declared as a string, and an age, which is an integer. So here in my while loop, you can see that I'm going to read the name first, then the age, because that's the order that they are in the file. And then I'll display them, and then I'll go through and do the same thing again, right, in my loop. So here you can see it does display. Um, so if you have more than one thing, that's fine. You could do this. You could, uh, you could do it this way if you want. Um, the way the textbook might do it is it might have input file with the input operator name, input operator age. I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm really not even going to demonstrate it. Um, as long as the order here and the data type matches up, right? There's a string first and an integer, and that's exactly what you have in your file.